Hey guys, Mason here from the Calderos. Today I am showing you how to add a mask in HitFilm 4 Express. So both a freehand mask and an ellipse mask and a rectangular mask. So I have my image imported here. I'm just going to chuck that into the screen. And it's fit, it's fit my resolution I, as I have set my composite shot in advance to 264 by 191, which is what the image is at. So now we have the... Um, rectangular mask, um, ellipse mask, and freehand mask. Let's start with the rectangular. We simply drag, and we can just, as you can see, it is showing only the part that is selected. We can let go, and it will save this. Now in controls, we can um, press, just press that button down, and to hit, if we hit inver inverted, it is going to replace what we just selected, and it's going to switch that around, basically. It's self you can tell yourself so then we just simply hit that button again if we want to undo the option now i'm just real quick gonna undo all of this to when we have the image at the start and now i'm gonna select the ellipse mask we simply click on this and we can simply drag sorry you need to make sure you clicked on the image first and you can simply drag and of course drop and then we have the ellipse in Filmora, another software I use, I gave another tutorial on this, and in Filmora, it is both easier and harder to use this effect. You can't add a freehand mask of what I know in Filmora. They may have added it and I didn't realise, but as of what I know, they don't have one. And like, but what is easier, you can, the selection of the images is much easier than in HitFilm, in my opinion, that is, anyway. So now, obviously, we can make this inverted if we want to but i'm just going to leave it like this so now i'm quickly just going to um really real quickly just undo all this again so now i'm going to be showing you the freehand mask this is where it gets a bit more difficult to start it um we need to click on the image again and we can simply select just by clicking of on the screen and then to simply finish this mask, we simply click and it would have selected that. This can be very useful. I know many people have it in thumbnails or other things like in YouTube videos. But you can simply select like that. Sorry about that noise if you can hear it, just my dog. You can simply select around the image like this. Um, and then like you can see that's taken out just this bit of footage. That is all the masking effects that I really want to talk about in this. I don't that often use the masking effect. It is useful sometimes. I have done a few effects with it. So yeah, it's a pretty good effect to know how to use. That is the end of this video. Like always, if you enjoyed it, like why not leave a like? No harm done. Even subscribe if you're feeling nice to me. <laughs> but that is the end of the video. I will see you in the next tutorial. Have any suggestions for videos? Just leave them in the comments below that is it i will see you next time guys bye